Uh, hi everyone in this uh, video tutorial I'll talk about how uh, you can use mathematics to predict uh, or find the probability at least for uh, the change in the stock price for the coming day so for example right now you want to buy a stock and you are concerned what are the probabilities uh, that the stock price will go up the next day or it should go down the next day so one of the technique which has been used uh, a lot by uh, bankings and um, um, other financial institutes uh, is to use the historical data and uh, calculate uh, the volatility of the stocks and uh, how uh, what are the likelihood for that stocks to go up and down so we'll start uh, with the uh, um, like yahoo finance and to obtain some historical data so now i'm on the main web page of yahoo finance and I'll type BAC which is one of the most uh, popular stocks or which has high volumes and uh, I look uh, into the information and you can see we have volumes the closing price the charts but uh, if you look on the left side there is a, a, a option for historical prices so if you click on historical prices you get the daily value of, of the stock uh, since 1986 so now because we are trying to uh, use the historical data to predict the stock movement uh, I don't want to go into very very old data so instead I'll use last four year of data so instead of that I'll just say 2009 it doesn't have to be exactly uh, four years so I just don't change the uh, dates or months so now it's approximately four years and uh, then I'll uh, say get price and then uh, I updated the list and then I can see there is a link uh, down uh, below which is uh, download to spreadsheet so I click on that one and it downloads the excel file for me so I can open that excel file and let me uh, increase the zoom here so and now you can see it has date uh, open price high price low price closing price and uh, adjusted closing price so I'll just delete all this information and then I just look at the adjusting call closing price so now um, it's pretty easy to it's not there is no uh, much of uh, complexity in this data so we have price of the stock every day end of the day right so now if you look on September of uh, 20th of September then for 20th of September the future was 23rd of September and uh, then we will say that how much stock price changed from 20th to 23rd of September so for that we have to use 20th of September as a base price and then I can calculate how much change happened uh, in next day so how will I do that is I'll say uh, is equal to and then uh, just divide the future price with the current price and uh, then I say minus 1 and then I multiply this number by 100 so this gives me 2% change so what happened between 20th and 23rd September is that the stock price decreased by approximately 2.07% and uh, so we have a loss right so we can do the same thing so if I um, choose the um, the cell and I double click on it, uh, it copies the same formula uh, on the next um, cells. And you can see that if I look at 19th of September, if I would have bought it the stock on that day, then I would have lost 1.16% of my investment. But same time, uh, if uh, I would have uh, invested uh, around 12th of August then I would have gained 0.69 percent so this is how we have now historical data which says what was a daily change in the price or percentage change in the price on the daily basis now this information itself is not very useful so now how will we make it a useful information for that we will use uh, first of all let's count the number of data points so I'll just put one two and then if I double click here I'll get the total number of data points so if I look here 
the total number of data points are 1087 so I have around 1087 data points so I'll say here uh, 1087 that's my total number of data points and uh, this was my uh, percent change and this is my counting right count so now um, now what I can do is uh, I can use a function called frequency so this function will give me that how many times certain thing happen uh, if it was below then certain number so for example um, now let's uh, say that if I want to see how many times the stock price decreased more than 5% so that information can be used can be obtained by using the term frequency so let's say here so now say like we are interested in 5% decrease so I can say here is equal to frequency and then I choose this array can go all the way and choose it all the values and then for the bin array I use minus 5 and then you can see it's 32 times so if I put this to be minus 7 then it says 14 times so out of 1087 days 14 times the stock price decreased more than 7% uh, so this is how I read this data and uh, I can also do this thing I can say is equal to 1087 minus 14 which will give me 1073 so 1073 days uh, the stock price was higher than 7% decrease so it did not decrease 7% so if I use 5 here then what does it tell me is that 37% time 37 days the stock price increased more than 5% so this is how we have the value and uh, so what because we have used a lot of data points so we can use the same information to predict the future value so what I can do is you can say uh, is equal to this divided by this uh, into 100 and then this is equal to this into 100 divided by this over the second value so now um, when it comes to decrease more so so now if i say minus 5 here then i can say there are two percent chances that uh, it can decrease more than minus 5 but if i say 5 here then i say it's 3.4 percent chances it will go more than um, 3.4 percent but if I want to get a range then what I can do is um, I can also do the same thing uh, I can copy this formula so here so this is and I can copy this formula paste it here and uh, change this number to this number so now this is my uh, so this is my range now upper and lower value upper range right and this is my uh, count below upper and this is count below lower and this is total count right. so if I want to uh, calculate the difference so that will be equal to this minus this so let me move this here and put this one here and this is count in the range so this is the count in the range right so 
So now you can see that uh, what, how what are the chances that the stock price uh, will be uh, will uh, increase the increase in the stock price will be around between the five percent and four percent. And for that one, they are they were twenty nine counts. So I can just calculate the percentage is equal to twenty nine divided by this. This one is hundred. So it is two point six six seven eight nine percent. So this is percent chances. So now uh, let let's uh, see how it works again. So now suppose uh, if you wanna see that. Um, I bought I am buying this stock and I have some options and I'm very concerned about uh, that what are the probabilities that the stock price will be more than uh, 5% so what I'll do here is more than 5% right so I'll say 5 and here I'll say uh, just very high number so let's say 100 so then you can see there are 3.40386 percent chances that it will go more than 5% but it's go then what if uh, the stock price will go more than zero percent so i'm not concerned concern about the percentage increase but i just want to make sure that the stock price doesn't decrease in value so i can say zero so there are 49.954 percent chances that the stock will increase in the price so now you can see that it's very close to 50 percent so that's why we say this there the stock is always can go up or always can go down right now uh, if I'm concerned about what are the chances that the stock price uh, will uh, decrease but will not decrease more than 1%. So in that case, I'll say uh, 0 here and minus 1 here. So now uh, you can see there are 90%, 19% chances that the stock price uh, will be between uh, 0% to minus 1% so stock price can decrease uh, by 1% or or in between minus 1% and 0% and there are 20% chances for it 